the day shade. The airplane. Let's just take a moment for the airplane to get its airplay. So welcome to my garden in London. Today I thought I would do my travel makeup bag and basically a tutorial on my travel makeup routine. I thought it would be really fun because a lot of the stuff that I brought I realize are like my favorites and I haven't done a favorites video in like the longest time. I have everything in this really cute Zoeva bag and I guess if you know Zoeva is a brush brand and their bags are like legit. Alright the first thing I'm going to be putting on is the Cover FX custom cover drop. And this has totally been a favorite of mine since I don't know I can't remember I mean it's like I've been using it for about one month already and it is so so amazing I totally recommend this why custom drops because apparently you can put this into your serums into your moisturizers and you can make your own foundations but for me I really like it as just a straight-up foundation and the finish is super super flawless and it just it just goes on like a dream universal brow pencil by it cosmetics and this is such a good brow pencil guys like if I were to pick something it's just this is the perfect color for my brows it draws really nicely and I really enjoy using it comes with of course the brow pencil here and I guess it's a universal color meaning it suits everybody but I think the shade is particularly dark so if you do have like blonde hair or something it might not be exactly universal for you but it also has a brush at the end as you can see and I like the formula it draws the brows really well as you can tell from me doing my eyebrows. And I like to do my eyebrows very dark, as you can tell, so yeah. So for my eyeshadows, I am using the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. I just placed the hugest, hugest ColourPop order. Basically ColourPop went international, and I did not do a video on it because I was about to leave to London the day I got the order, so sorry about that. But two things I did get from that was basically the colors it, it was like a mile high mile high collection with about six super soft shock shadows in them so one of them is in mittens which is kind of like a matte dark brown so this is um, Lala which is a beautiful peachy shimmery shade that I really like as well and I really find that these shadows are super pigmented like they go on really well and they are very soft feeling in terms of texture into the pan so I really like these because it goes on really pigmented and I don't have to think about it I know that this is my base shade and then this is my defining shade so I am putting them on right now all right, so moving on, after my eyeshadow, it's time for eyeliner. One eyeliner that I've been totally loving is the Zoeva um, eyeliner. I guess this is, it's called the Cat Eye Pen and it's in shade Blackest Black. It looks just like a normal pen eyeliner and a very sharp tip as you can tell, but it goes on really well and it actually stays for a really long time. You think Zoeva is really just a brush brand? Well, the eyeliner is actually pretty good actually and it stays. In my tutorial, I left out my mascara, but I'll actually return to it later. Um, I forgot my eyelash curler somewhere in my luggage, so I thought I will just leave this to the end, but I want to do want to talk about it. There are a lot of flights today, a lot of flights. So my favorite mascara recently is this, which is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. It's one of the newest mascaras that they've come out with and it looks just like this. I love the packaging and um, this is basically a very very good high-end mascara. It comes with this kind of brush and it makes my lashes really nice and voluminous and curled which is really great. Of course the gate being kind of you know someone with very like long lame <laughs> lashes I do need an eyelash curler so with the eyelash curler it actually is really nice and I really do enjoy using it. All right, that pretty much sums up my eyes. So I'm gonna go on with my cheeks. And I love the Benefit Box blushes or box powders. They are just so, so good. So the first thing I always use to contour is this called Hula Benefit. Ta-da, as you can tell. And this is such a good contouring product. All right, so the next product is the Benefit Dandelion box blush and this is one of my absolute favorites. I've totally hit pan and it's this beautiful everyday ballerina pink on your cheeks and it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. To finish off with my cheeks, I am using the MAC Let's Be Friends. I've really been liking this. It's from that collection. I, I don't know what collection it was, but it was like this 
kind of picnic theme flamingo collection. I forgot what it's called actually, but this is from there and it's a gorgeous hot pink color. And although you might think, oh my gosh, this hot pink is way too hot pink on the cheeks. Well, actually it goes on really, really nicely and you just need a light hand. And I always put it right next to my contour to emphasize my cheeks a little bit more. And it looks really nice. It makes your like cheeks 3D. Sometimes I like to use two blushes. One is lighter, one is darker, and both of them can help me contour for my cheeks even more. So with my ColourPop order, I actually also got a ton of lippy sticks. And actually the reason why I want to get a ColourPop haul was because of the lippy sticks and also the shadows that I haven't tried. I have tried their Ultra Matte Lip and as you guys know, I really like Mars, which is this gorgeous hot pink. And my favorite, favorite color is hot pink. Just so you know, I am using I Heart This, which is this gorgeous hot pink color. As you can tell, isn't it beautiful? And then, I also have Brink and I think Brink is just the most amazing everyday shade like if you're um, working or if you are like wanting a very everyday kind of natural lip color this one is really gorgeous it's like a kind of nude pinkish brownish color as you can tell so it's really beautiful I really like this one my neighbor's dog and a bee there is a bee so yes, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And you guys know what? I've done six London videos in my whole entire YouTube thing, and I just don't know what other London video I could film. So if you have any suggestions, please comment in the comment section below. I know some of you have requested an afternoon tea. Afternoon tea is freaking expensive in London, but I'll see what I can do. So yes. Please let me know what London video you'd like to see next in the comment section below. I also want to do a come makeup shopping with me in Superdrug, but I've been really, really shy lately, so we will see about that. Anyways, comment below with what kind of London video I could do next, and I will see you guys later. Bye!